This is going to be a video review of the Otter Box Defender case for the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G. I read a little bit about what it says online here. Screenless edition case for the Galaxy S21. Comes in black. Also comes in a blue sage, which kind of looks nice, but I didn't get it. Uh, polycarbonate shell, synthetic rubber slip cover, polycarbonate holster, basic case, um, no built-in screen protector. So, now I was looking at this, I just went out and bought this really expensive cell phone that I don't need. I have an S10 Plus, and I figured I've got $1,200 I don't really need, so let me go spend it on a phone that I don't need and get 5G that I don't need. Um, so far, I'm happy with it. You can see I still have the cover on there. And I was looking, which one did I want? What case did I want to buy? So if this helps you out, do a thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment. You know, all the cool stuff all of us awesome tubers say. I was looking at the Defender and I was looking at the Commuter series. Drop protection, four times as many drops as military standard. I don't drop my cell phone. I don't even need this type of a case. The Commuter series was three times as many drops as the military. Um, colors, who cares? Layers, multi-layer case. The Commuter is a two-layer case. Both of them are screenless. This includes a holster. A lot of people are complaining that if you put the holster on, the phone, I think, is upside down. I'm not really sure. This one has the dust protection around the cover, around the ports. I don't know if I'm going to even, I, maybe that's going to get in the way and I'm going to want to cut them off. I don't know. The commuter doesn't have the dust ports. Uh, this works with OtterBox screen protectors sold separately. So does the commuter. So the only reason that I wasn't sure is I read some complaints saying that when you use this Defender case, the outer material, kind of a rubberish material, makes it really difficult to slide it into a pocket compared to the commuter series, which is supposedly easy to slide into a pocket. And I asked somebody online and they said, no, no, that's not true. They don't have a problem sliding it into their pocket. They probably wear much looser pants because they're cooler than I am. Um, I wear the older style 505 jeans and they are regular cut and tight and very manly. Um, so it's going to take me like two hours to take this out of the box. Which I guess it's okay. It's always good to be in the box as long as you can. Are they going to make this difficult? Are they going to tie it down somehow? Okay, so this is going to be about two hours. People are going to say, why did you make a five second video last two hours? Oh, I did it to put like a thousand ads in there. Why isn't this coming out? There we go, it's coming out now. Okay, so. Wow, look at how tiny this print is. Unbelievable. I don't know any of those languages. We have a designed for Samsung paper that's in there. Um, what do we have here? Install, 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 belt clip holster. So I think what people were saying is when you use the belt clip holster, it ends up going sideways. I don't know. Um, hold on. Ew, this is one heck of a beefy case, that's for sure. Um, compared to the case that I had on my S10 Plus, this is definitely overkill. Holster. This is, this is a lot of case. This is a heck of a lot of case. Yikes. Um, I've never had an otter box before, so I don't really know how to remove this from the otter box uh, holster. Wow. Um, I have no clue. Let me shut this off again. It is. You just do this. Um, yeah, I, I'm a firm believer that you don't walk around with a $1,200 item on your belt so that everybody can see it and go up and take it away from you. So I guess the lighting's not that good over here. Even with all my incredible lighting, donations definitely accepted. Oh, that's much better. Um, yeah. Unless you need a holster, you don't need this thing. And, uh...
I think that this is a two-part case. Now, you shouldn't need an instruction manual to put a uh, case on your cell phone. Yikes. Um, does this just slide in here? I believe it said that it was a multi-layer case. I don't know if this is two pieces or three pieces. I don't know if this just slides in. There we have the ports over there, the port covers. Um, okay, so that's kind of nice in a way. Um, you got the uh, openings for the cell phone. I guess this is uh, multi-layer. This is the multi-layer part. No, 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 because the other one, this, the other one says it's a two-layer case. So there is definitely uh, two parts to this thing. I just have to figure out the trick. Hey, I know it's a review. It's a video review. I can't figure this thing out, but supposedly you don't even have to. I know it's a review. I'm supposed to know how to do this, but you shouldn't have to figure anything out. It's a, just a cell phone case. Um, what do we have over here? Is that a button? There's no button over here, so I don't really know what that's for. We've got the uh, volume and the power, and we've got some padding over here. Now, supposedly, this front comes out. I don't want to break it. I can't figure out how to get it out. But they say you don't have to do that. You should just be able to pop this thing in here. So let's see if that's true without breaking the cell phone. And no, I don't think that's true. So this has got padding in here. And I guess this inside part comes out. I'm probably going to, yeah, I can see. That's the outer part. So that's the two pieces over there. Those are the two pieces. I can see this is the, uh, the separation over here. That's the rubberized part. And this is the inner part. And again, I don't know what the trick is to remove it. But obviously you bend or you fold this thing over. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's what it is. That is what's going on over there. But it's kind of tricky because when you look over here, it really looks like just a one-piece case. But now there are two pieces in here, and I'm going to get it out if I have to break it. This is the holster. This is about 10 hours later. I guess this is a three-part case. You have to go in here on the edge and remove, snap out this rubber piece. Oh my gosh, unbelievable. It looked like it was all one piece. I couldn't figure it out. I knew it separated, but I couldn't figure that out. So, yeah. Okay, so there's the rubber bootay. Um, oh my God. And they make these for iPhones and this, the Androids. So this is the rubber boot, and this is, you see where we've got these, I guess, arrows? Arrow 1, arrow 2, arrow 3, arrow 4. I think on the iPhone it has, oh, arrow 5, arrow 6. So you put your thumb, you, you get your nail under there. And then it, oh, now it's really easy. Now it's not a big deal. Ah! Okay, so we have the rubber boot, the bottom, and then the rim. And so when you get this rim on there, I'm not going to make that joke. We have some nice padding over here. I'm going to put the cell phone in there. And it fits really nice. We've got, that's the opening for the speaker and the charger, and we got the uh, buttons for the volume or the on-off, and all right, so we've got that taken care of. I'm just gonna leave my little cover on there for now, and then I, I believe we have to go back in and snap, snap this together, where we have those six pieces, and it's snapped together already, it sounds like, okay, snapping together snapping together and then is that it now the big thing is is this gonna slide into my pocket that's what I was worried about before so I couldn't even figure this out that we had this rubber boot it just it all looked like one piece to me and I know you're supposed to slide in from the bottom and seal this all around 
Um, slide it up to the edge and get that over the, the top lip over there. And see this? You want to get this so it seals, it goes over the ribs, the rim. You want, you want it to bite in like this. That was my problem. I thought this was all one piece. So, hold on a minute. See the difference? I've got the, there was that ridge over there and you have to push the outer rubber boot over so that it goes into that little gap, that little rim that goes all around the edge. There is no doubt that it is a heavy duty case. The big test is now. This phone is huge and when it's got this case on here, this thing is humongous. This is a really nice case. Um, it's not gonna slip out of your phone. I don't even think you need these little ridges over here, but this is not gonna fall out of your phone at all, even if your hands are wet, which they shouldn't be. The USB and the speaker holes line up perfectly with the openings, and same for the uh, holes on the top. I don't even know what those holes are. I should know. And we've got the, uh, the switches over here. So we've got, what, one of them is power, I believe. I think I adjusted it to power. Okay, so that's nice. Yeah, this is good. Okay, so we've got, let's turn this back on. I was expecting I was gonna get, all right, let's turn this back on. Right. Back on, volume's working. Volume's working. Okay, this is neat. Yeah. Big test now. This really is the big test. I don't think I'm going to return it because of this, but... Oh, it's also got the little cutout for the... the cell camera. And so the big worry was, can I get it in my pocket without it sliding on the material? And this is a tight pocket. And it is definitely a tight fit. Oh, yes. Can you say that on the tuber? Um, oh, I've got my keys in there. I don't want to do that. But the nice thing is with my old phone, I didn't have a case that protected the USB. So I had to worry about getting dust in the bottom. And how hard is this to do? It's not that hard at all. It's a good case. People are saying with this thing over here, when you mount it, I think you end up uh, carrying this thing sideways. And like I said, I don't want to advertise to the world that I'm walking around with a $1,200 telephone that somebody can just come up behind me and... So, what's my review of this thing? Besides it being a nightmare to figure out for the first time if you've never done a Defender case, I'm pretty happy with it. The price was reasonable. I think it was like uh, 4 0 or something. I'll leave an affiliate link in the video description. Um, help me out. Don't leave any rude comments because I couldn't figure this out because I couldn't figure it out. And it took some time. But you saw there are three things here. You gotta get this little rim. You gotta get this part has to come off. The boot has to come off and then you can separate the two pieces. A good product. Uh, thumbs up, subscribe, like. Donations are welcome. I'll leave the PayPal Link in the video description, $10 million minimum. You know what I mean. Uh, I'm kidding. Thanks for watching. It is a good product. I'm happy. Um, I wish that it had a plastic front for protection. But it goes in the pocket. It's not smooth. Um, and that's why they said the commuter, I believe, has a smooth case. It's not a rubbery or a rubberized case. But see, the pocket's already coming out. My pocket, that was a, a pocket with a rocket. So yeah, this is good. Boy, this is beefy. Listen to that. Uh, as far as people, them saying you could, four times military uh, grade for dropping it. You know, that's hard to say because this is not gonna, this will only take so much impact and you could damage your phone anyway, even if you don't break the glass. So, but I think it's a good deal. If you're going to spend money on a case, you may as well get something decent. You're probably going to have to buy this online. If you have an iPhone, you'll be able to get it in the store. Nobody is selling this case right now in the store. I couldn't find it in the store. 
and uh, how to buy it online. There you go.